My name is Debbie Kunis. I'm a teacher and a storyteller representing National Geographic and the Teacher Certification Program. I'm going to present to you Stella to South, children's stories to read, to remember, and to reflect. Come on, let's take a look. I'm glad you're here. The Maya had an expression, in lak ek, which signified, I am the other you. They also had an expression, halaken, which realized, you are the other me. And that was the inspiration to our story. We wanted to use Stella, like the classic Maya society, to tell our stories. But what we realized is that our children, our students, didn't have a lot of stories read to them when they were younger. So we wanted to give them that experience. We started off by reading to our students. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Pez negro, pez azulito, pez anciano, pez perrito. For many of our secondary students, it was a new experience to be read to. After that, we found that our students could incorporate images of the ancient Maya and still show the powerful messages from children's stories. We put together a stele where their tiles were inspired by the children's stories that most connected to them and their prior experiences. It culminated in a show at Arizona State University West called Children's Stories to read, to remember, and to reflect. When we got back to school, we took our own experiences and created our own storybooks to share with others. There once was a little girl that loved to count. She could count from one to ten. Aquí vio una mamá elefante y su bebé. Por pues contó, hay dos elefantes, dos. We also wanted to encourage our students to delve into virtual reality. So we ended the culminating unit by taking virtual trips to Chichen Itza in our hallway. I learned a lot from the experience. I got to dance with African dancers. I got to read stories from all over the world. And I got to show my students that I am you and you are me and that what binds us is deep in literacy. Thank you very much.